Hey everyone, James here and I am back on YouTube. It has been a very long while uh, and so I thought the first video that I'm going to do is just giving you all an overview of the gym that I have set up here at my current uh, house and uh, all the equipment that I have and I'm just going to run through all of that just to show you what I'm using uh, and the current setup that I'll be, be going through over for the next period of time. Uh, so the shed is pretty full at the moment, uh, so I don't think I'm going to be adding to it for a while, which is um, unfortunate, but also good for my bank account. The main piece of equipment that I have here, and you can see it right behind me, is the rack. Uh, this is a Rogue Fitness Rack RML 490. Uh, I got this probably four years, four or five years ago, um, and since getting that, I have upgraded it with the pull-up bar. I had. I bought it with an extra set of J cups. I have safety straps on there as well. A dip attachment for it too. So uh, I've stocked it up pretty well. It's ready to go and it should uh, last me hopefully the rest of my life. So uh, that's the Rogue RML 490 uh, straight from Rogue Fitness here in Australia. And then uh, on top of that, the next piece of equipment that I'll take you through is the Verve Fitness Bench. Uh, commercial, commercial bench, I think it was. Um, so that one is, it's not the decline bench, it's just flat up to the full straight back, 90 degree straight sitting position. Uh, so that one I've most recently added as well, because uh, my old bench was a little bit flimsy and it had started to bend, I think it was only worth about 150 bucks. So this one was a little bit more expensive at 400 as well as shipping. So. Uh, I'm really happy with it so far. It does a fantastic job. It feels stable. I don't feel like it's going to bend anytime soon, which is awesome. Uh, the next piece of equipment that I have uh, to run you through here is the barbells that I'm using. So I have two Rogo Hyo bars, uh, which I also first bought with the rack, and they were about 425 bucks each. Um, and they've been fantastic. I haven't had a single issue with those. Um, and I've recently just cleaned them up too, so I just uh, I'll may probably make another video on how I clean them, but they've come up amazing. Um, they were starting to just get a little bit of rust and wear on them, but um, after I've cleaned them up, they look almost near new again, which is great. Another bar that I have just most recently added as well is the Rogue Ohio Power Bar in stainless steel. Uh, and this bar uh, just feels great to pretty much do any lift with. Uh, the only thing I wouldn't do is just like front squats or Olympic lifts because the uh, center nail is quite rough and it hasn't got the whip in it that you would need for anything explosive. So, but anything like your bench squat, deadlift, and all those variants where you need a bit of stability is fantastic. Next up is the Concept 2 rower. Now this is the very first piece of gym equipment I bought when I was 18 years old. Uh, and it has, I've had it for almost 10 years. Yeah, almost 10 years now. So. That has been fantastic. It is, has lasted the journey. I've never had a single problem with it. The only thing I've had to do is recharge the battery in the, the PM4 monitor because it ran out at one stage, but that was pretty easy to do. Um, just plug it in and charge her up and she's ready to go again. And the great thing about it is the monitor does charge as you row as well if you're doing enough volume on it. Next piece I'm gonna run you through is the dumbbells that I have. Now I also bought these probably four years ago. These are, they're called powertrain adjustable dumbbells, but I'm pretty sure they're just imports from China. Uh, but these I have from five up to 40 kilograms per dumbbell, which is awesome. I think I bought them for about 350 bucks. Uh, and since COVID started, I checked the website again and it was, I think about $850 for the pair of dumbbells. So they've gone up 500 bucks in the last, four or five years, which is a bit ridiculous, but. Next up that I have here are the Rogue bumper plates. So these are the calibrated bumper plates I picked up from Rogue. And the only reason I bought calibrated plates was because when I bought them, that's all Rogue had available in terms of bumpers. They didn't, uh, or they had, I think the Black Echo bumpers as well, but they were a bit too fat for what I wanted to use them for. I haven't ever weighed them to check if they are perfect or near perfect with their calibrated setting, but doesn't really matter to me. Uh, next up here, you can see that I have a whole bunch of attachments and just bits and pieces of equipment sitting on the bench. Um, and I use these for various things. Uh, the, one of them being the cable machine that I have. Now this is from ATX. It's the 
uh, lat pull down low row combo machine and this has been probably another one of my most recent additions to the gym and this is absolutely awesome i use it for a lot of exercises such as rows and pull downs but also uh, cable push downs for triceps we can do cable bicep curls upright rows i do face pulls by connecting the chain to it um, and it slides fantastically up and down um, adding plates to it so it being plate loaded as well adding plates to it is no issue at all so that is most of the equipment I have here if you have got any questions at all about any of it or want to go uh, go into further detail or want me to review a specific piece of equipment please let me know you can comment below or just shoot me a message on wherever I'll link my uh, social media in the description below but as I said if you've got any questions let me know uh, and hopefully I can start posting a little bit more regularly to this channel. It's definitely a goal of mine to continue to build it. Uh, so I'm looking to start posting just some general training videos, uh, maybe some exercise ba uh, breakdown videos to actually go into a bit more depth with exercises. Uh, and I also want to start um, getting you know some other people on just so we can have general chats here and there, podcasts, whatever. Um, so if if there's anything specifically you would like to see me post, please let me know uh, and I will endeavor to do that in the long run. But for now, thanks for watching this uh, and hopefully, uh, as I said, we can continue to post more frequently from here on in.